Hey guys, let's talk about Serenity June Denard. Serenity was born on May 12th, 2009 and has been missing since February 3rd, 2019 from Rapid City, South Dakota. At the time of her disappearance, she was 9 years old, between 4 feet 7 and 4 feet 9, and 96 pounds. She's a Caucasian female with blonde hair and blue eyes. Serenity has been diagnosed with severe reactive attachment disorder, disruptive mood dysregulation disorder, and other psychological problems. As a result of her condition, she suffers from behavioral problems, including running away and threats of self-harm. Serenity was a resident of the Black Hills Children's Home, BHCH, a treatment center for children with emotional and behavioral problems in the 24-100 block of Rockerville Road outside of Rapid City, South Dakota at the time of her disappearance. She was playing in the gym at the home with three other children at 10.45 a.m. on February 3rd, 2019. Two staff members were tasked with watching the children. One child ran out of the gym but stayed inside the building, and one of the staff members went after the chi that child. While the remaining staffer was watching the other children alone, Serenity ran out of the gym. The remaining staff member didn't follow her, but stayed in the gym and called for help, since there were still two children in the gym, and it was against the rules to leave them unsupervised. A person coming onto the BHCH campus at 11 a.m. was the last person known to have seen Serenity. She was walking northbound on South Rockerville Road, near the cattle guard in front of the home. She was not wearing a coat in spite of the sub-zero temperatures. She has never been heard from again. Before she went to live in the Black Hills Children's Home, Serenity lived with her adoptive father, Chad Denard, and stepmother, Cassandra Denard. They have primary custody of Serenity, and her adoptive mother, Darcy Gentry, has secondary custody. Serenity has stayed in about a dozen foster homes in her early childhood for two years after she was removed from her biological parents' care as a toddler. Both of her birth parents are now in prison. In October 2014, after fostering her for several months, Chad and Darcy adopted her. In early 2015, the couple divorced. Chad and Cassandra began raising her in May of that year. They live in Sturgis, South Dakota, with Serenity's three siblings. Darcy has remarried and lives in Rapid Valley, South Dakota. According to her parents, Serenity suffered trauma as a result of her early childhood experiences. As a result, she would frequently run away from home and had other behavioral issues. Years of outpatient therapy failed to help, and Chad and Cassandra felt it was no longer safe for her to remain at home. In July 2018, they sent her to live at the BHCH, which provides intensive, intensive inpatient therapy and schooling for children aged 4 to 14. She was expected to stay for about 14 months with predicted discharge date of September 2019. Her parents saw her four or five times a month during visits and family therapy sessions, and she was allowed to call them twice a week. They believe she was making good progress and described the BHCH staff as caring. Chad visited Serenity at the home the day before she went missing. He said it was a normal visit and she seemed to be doing well. He said she had a history of hiding from the staff and threatening to run away, and had once run away while playing outside, but the staff was able to catch her. The policy at the BHCH was that if a child went missing, the staff would notify emergency responders within a reasonable, reasonable time. After Serenity disappeared, the staff didn't call 911 until 12.26 p.m., by which time an hour and 41 minutes had passed. Instead, they searched the area for her themselves. The facility faced extensive criticism for its handling of Serenity's disappearance. The State Department of Social Services and the Federal Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services investigated and found that the BHCH didn't provide the level of supervision Serenity required. They lacked a sufficient emergency preparedness plan. The staff's initial search for Serenity was disorganized, and the 101-minute delay in calling 911 did not constitute a reasonable time. The state gave the home a corrective action plan, stating that a new policy should be adopted where staff would call 911 immediately after a child disappeared. Later that year, the executive director of the Children's Home Society, which runs the BHCH and provides other education, shelter, adoption, and foster care services in South Dakota, retired. Numerous extensive searches of the area involving police, volunteers, and search dogs have turned up no indication of Serenity's whereabouts. 
The search was reclassified from a rescue to a recovery effort. After several days, a serenity could not have survived for more than a few nights outside in the extreme cold temperatures. Her case remains unsolved and she is feared to be deceased. If you have any information, please call the Pennington County Sheriff's Office at 605-394-6115.